In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a program in MATLAB to solve an initial value problem using the Euler method. So here we've got an initial value problem. So we've got our ODE, y dash equals ty. We've got our range of values for t, which is 0 to 1. And we've got our initial solution, y0 equals 1. And uh, we're using a step length of 0.2. So I'm going to start off by actually defining this uh, initial value problem. Um, so I'm going to use t-span to contain the boundaries of our t-domain. Uh, our initial solution y0 is 1 and our step length is 0.2. And I'm also going to f define a function. In this case, I'm going to define an inline function, which uh, is our ODE function. So this is the right hand side of this ODE which is t times y. Okay so that's the problem set up um, and what I need, now need to do is write a function for, sol for the Euler method. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write a single function that calculates the Euler method. Um, so I'm going to call it y new over a single step. Okay and this requires the function f uh, values of tn and yn and also the step length h okay so this is what i need to calculate the euler method and the new value of y is the current value yn plus h times f of tn yn okay and it's got to end the function there so this solves uh this calculates a single step of the euler method but i also need another function to invoke it and to step through uh, all the steps. So I'm going to call this function, uh, it's going to have two outputs, I'm going to call them t and y, and I call this function solve IVP. Uh, and the inputs this function are f, uh, t span, y0, h, and then our solver. Now this solver, uh, in the future we might want to use other solvers, uh, for now we're just using Euler but in the future we might want to use other solvers so this allows us to choose which solver we're going to use okay so to start with I need a values for t so t is going to be a, a, a range of values starting off at the first value in t span going up some steps of h uh, to the last value of t span okay now what I like to do is just whenever I do something I like to check whether it's working so what I'm going to do is I'm going to invoke uh, our solve IVP um, function. Okay, so I'm going to solve IVP f t span y0 h, and we're using the Euler method. Okay, so I'm just going to run that. Okay, it's, it's given some error, but this is because I haven't sort of got anything for y. Okay, but I'm just checking t for now, and you can see... We have our t values going from 0 to 1 in steps of 0 0.2. Okay, so that's t done. Uh, what about y? Well, I want y uh, initially to be zeros, and I want them to be the same size or length as t. Okay, so I'm just going to check that works by running it, just to check. Oh, ah, so what you can see here, it's got 6 by 6 rather than 6 by 1. So I need to actually specify I want a 6 by 1. There we go. Okay, so we have values for t and y. Uh, so, so next thing I need to do is set our initial value um, for y to be the initial solution y0. Okay, so what this does is because we already know one of our values in our solution, we set it here. Okay, now I need to loop or step through all, uh, the values of t. So I'm going to step through the lengths so n equals 1 to length t minus 1 because I've already got one of them here okay and what I now do is our new value of y is equal to whichever solver function I'm using now in this case I'll be using Euler but in the future I might be using difference so this is solver our function f our nth value of t our nth value of y and h Okay, and don't forget to end that solve IVP function. Okay, so I'm going to give this a run so you see if it does if it works. And there we can see 
it's outputted the solve IVP functions is outputted uh, an array for T and array for the solution Y using the Euler method. Now it's often useful to be able to tabulate the solutions. So that's what I'm going to now do is print a table of the solutions. Okay, and to do this, um, a little trick here, I'm using a MATLAB live script. Uh, in order to print everything out uh, as one, I'm just going to create a little sort of what I call a dummy for loop. It just goes through i equals one to one. This means that all of our print statements will be collected uh, because MATLAB does some weird things with its live scripts. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is column headings. I'm not too bothered where these are for now. I might sort them out a bit later on. And then I'm going to step through each value of t. Okay, and I'm going to print a formatted print. So I'm using fprintf. Okay, so first thing I want to do is output our t values. So let's say this is going to be not to one decimal place, and that's a floating point number. And then I'm going to output um, our y values. So I'm using 10 character spaces with six decimal place accuracy. And then we need um, to specify our t n and y n. Okay, let's see what this gives us. Okay, so it's given us some output, but it's all on one line, so I've forgotten to do a new line. So backslash n gives us a new line in our table. And you can see there we've got a table, so I could just tidy up the uh, um, headers. Okay, and what I like to do is put a uh, a horizontal line of hyphens just to separate the headers from the values. Okay, so there's a table of solutions, and also it's useful to be able to plot the solutions, see what's happening graphically. Okay, so in MATLAB that's quite easy. So we're going to plot t against y, and I like to use um, solid markers. So in MATLAB to do that, you have to set the marker face color and uh, set it to blue. Okay, so I'm just going to run that. Okay, so it's being run right now. As you can see, MATLAB's uh, giving us a plot. Uh, I'm going to actually increase the line width a bit because that's a bit too small, I think. Okay, and add some labels, axis labels. Uh, label. T, oh, I've got X there, it should really be T. And what I'm going to do is actually use LaTeX labels. So it's possible in MATLAB to make some nice uh, labels using LaTeX. And that's done using this interpreter command. You don't have to do this, but it, it does make it look quite nice. And I'm also going to pad the axis a bit. So if you see here, sort of it. MATLAB defaults to putting its axis right at the smallest or the largest. So axis padded just means it's kind of zooms out a bit. Okay, uh, one final thing I'm going to do is actually make the labels a bit bigger. They're a bit too small here. So font size, let's say 14. See what that looks like. Okay, they're a bit bigger. Right, so that's the uh, a program that's quite a basic program for solving an ODE using Euler method. Uh, in subsequent solvers we're going to be using, we can build upon this program. Uh, but a lot of this we don't have to, you know, we can copy and paste it to do um, for, for more uh, advanced methods in the future.